Hello, Pastor. This is your mother. I thank God for you because you was good, and I'm glad I'm your mother, and you pray for me, and I pray for you, and keep continuing praying, and I will too, because I love you, and I will always love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Apostle, we love you with the Lord's help today. We love you because you love us in such a special way. That's why our hearts and minds are filled with so much praise. We praise Him and we lift Him up and we magnify His name. That's why our hearts and minds are filled with so much praise. Apostle, we love you with the Lord's help today. Apostle, we love you and thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you do. We love you. Possible. Happy Founders Day, Apostle. I appreciate all of your love, your teachings, your prayers, and especially your wisdom. Thank you for always setting a great example on how a Christian woman is supposed to carry herself. You have taught me so many things over these last 17 or 18 years, and I'm so thankful to call you my spiritual mother and teacher. I pray you see many, many more. Gentle and I would like to send the biggest virtual hug and lots of love to you on this Founders Day. We love you. you and thank you for your spiritual guidance. Thank you for helping me and, and spiritually and I miss you guys and I thank you for everything. Hi also I just want to tell you that I appreciate you holding us accountable to live holy and righteous each and every day getting us ready for when Jesus Christ returns. Happy, Happy Founders, Founders Day. Day. Happy Founders Day Apostle. I am just so proud of you of everything that you've accomplished and just you being an amazing beautiful woman and with so much wisdom, with so much compassion and love for everyone that you meet. Um, I pray that this Founders Day is everything that you want and more. And I pray that God will just bless you with everything on your heart. I'm so honored to know you and I just pray that you enjoy your day. Apostle, we just want to show you our love by telling you how much you have impacted our lives in so many ways. First of all, directing us and turning our hearts back to God. You never took credit for what God had done. If you didn't understand something, you went to Jesus for the answer for you and for us. You have never kept anything from us. Whatever you knew and what you have learned, you have shared it with us. You have showed us how to be followers of Christ how to call on the name of Jesus in times of trials and tribulations. When we didn't feel like praying, you showed us how to push through, how to keep pressing, how to keep moving forward. And I just want to thank you for being our apostle. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Apostle Green, for the past 18 years, we have seen the Lord use you mightily. No matter how many pastors or apostles this ministry will have for the generations to come, there will only be one founder. A founder is a leader who can see something that's not physically manifested yet. So thank you for seeing for this ministry and seeing into our lives. We love you. So thank you for hearing God for the Grant family and loving us through it all. Happy Founders Celebration and much love from my heart to yours. Hi, Apostle Green. Hi, Apostle Green. How are you? We just want to tell you Happy Founders Day 
And we want to continue to tell you that we love you. We appreciate everything you have done for us as the apostle. And we greatly are humble to have you in our life. I love you. We're going to continue love praying you. for you. Bye. Bye-bye. You have love for your people deep down in your heart. And I can feel the love. And I know you read your word daily because God speak to you mightily in a mighty, mighty way. And you teach your people the word. You teach your people how to live the word. You teach your people faith. Hello, Apostle Green. I want to let you know. Founders Day, and I appreciate you, and I love you. I want to tell you thank you for all the help you've given me to go forth to school, for all the love and caring, and I want to tell you I thank you, and I love you. Happy Father's Day, Apostle! Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers. We appreciate and we love you for everything you do for us. Have a good Founders Day. We love you, Apostle. We love you. Congratulations, Apostle Green. We are so happy about your anniversary. We love you. I thank and praise the Lord for my Apostle Green, who has been a part of my life, all of my life. And I am truly honored that the Lord allow you to be a part of my life. I'm so godly proud of you. I thank and praise the Lord for the walk that you have walked and lifted up the name of Jesus. And through your prayers, much prayers and preservations, our lives, so many of our friends' lives has been changed. Continue to run for Jesus and I will be one to lift your hand up. Praise the Lord. Hey Apostle, it's your brother Carson slash nephew. <laughs> um, Apostle, you've been praying for me through my ups and downs and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You know my struggles, mm. everything. I'm godly appreciative of your blessings, Apostle. Thank you so much for all your prayers and it endures. We love, love you. E L C C. Here we celebrate it today. A woman of integrity, a woman of great character, a woman of God, Apostle Van Marie Green. Oh, a woman of integrity. We celebrate you today. I celebrate you today. I'm thankful for you today, for your life and your lifestyle, how you love God, how you love his people. Oh, I celebrate you. You, a prayerful woman, an intercession woman, cause she don't play around with those demons. She was in the spirit, cause she don't play around with no demons. Oh, I celebrate you. I celebrate you. Oh, I celebrate you. Oh, I just bless God for you. I'm so grateful and thankful to even know you, to be a part of what God is doing in your life to even call you my under shepherd, my leader, my mentor, my spiritual mother, the apostolic voice, the seer that sees God and sees what's going on. And I just thank God for you, for your life and your lifestyle, for the love that exudes from your heart, how you love God, love his people. And it causes me personally to want to know Jesus even the more just to see your walk with God and how you just have a stand in the stand and I thank you for your yes I thank you for you being a woman of integrity of purity and holiness because you have taught me so much and I'm just so grateful that God aligned and ordered my footsteps and planted me under your leadership so I can grow and be better and I can be all that God wants me to be so I thank you for your yes I thank you for 
You being who you are and continue to be who you are in God because you are needed. Apostolic voice, you are needed. And I bless God for you. I love you. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Try not to get choked up, but I'm just so grateful and honored tonight. I, I give honor where honor is due, and you deserve double honor for your labor, for your prayers, for your teachings, for your love, for you just trailblazing away, being a pioneer, and just loving God for real, and just not stopping such a fighter and showing us how to war and how to war and how to win. Oh God, I thank you. You enjoy your day and I pray that you feel the love of the people and I pray that you feel God's love as well. And I just love, I love you. Oh, I'm trying not to cry, but um, enjoy your day trailblazing pioneering woman you are continue to run on apostle because you got so many that's running to running running behind the trail you have blazed and i'm just so honored 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 to even know you be connected attached to you oh bless god Bye. happy Father's day apostle i come today to tell you thank you for all you have done we sincerely appreciate your devotion, your dedication, your love, your teaching, and your wisdom. Thank you for all your prayers. I look forward to sharing many more Founders Day with you. Love you. Happy Founders Day, Apostle. We love you and thank you for all that you do. Hey, Apostle, this is the Chambers family. We just want to say we love you. We thank you. We're so grateful. Yeah! For all of your dedication, all of your love, your prayers, your concern, mm. all that you have given us as a family, our church family, we are so thankful and grateful for you. We hope that you enjoy your fondest celebration and for many, many more to come. Love you, Grandma. Yes, love you so much. And again, we just thank you. Just your dedication. You know, Facebook and YouTube and just continue to carry the word for the people in the ministry. Yeah, yeah. Love you so much and have a wonderful day. Love you, Apostle. Love you, Bye, Love you Lord. Hello, Apostle, and happy Founders Day. I'd like to begin by telling you that you are truly a gift from God to the body of Christ. Though I don't say it as often as I should, I come to tell you that you are appreciated. Appreciated for your consistency in studying and preaching the word faithfully. Appreciated for being a woman of fervent prayer while totally depending and trusting God for his wisdom and direction. I love how you often remind us that you cannot lead and shepherd our church in your own power. Therefore, you are appreciated for your compassion on teaching us how to turn our hearts back to God when we are faced with life challenges. For the word of God says to train up a child in the way he should go. You do this so well. You're training us on how to trust in God while living holy lives. While it looks easy in our eyes, I know that the weight you carry for us is heavy. Because of how you live your life by example, I know how to pray, to serve, and to trust God. You have taught me how to trust God and his word, along with how to go to him in times of need and in times when I just need to worship and acknowledge his power. Apostle, for your tireless service for the Lord and all you do for our church and others, helping others behind the scenes, the text messages, emails, and phone calls. My prayer is that God would allow you to know how special you are and to be able to feel my love for you as my apostle and as you fulfill your calling unto the Lord. I often give you your favorite flower, tulips. Each color holds a special meaning as well. The multiple color tulip symbolizes your elegance and grace. The pink tulip represents good wishes. The yellow tulip is for your cheerful thoughts and your encouragement. The orange tulip represents happiness and warmth. Red signifies love. Now, the white tulip is just me asking for forgiveness. And the most often given tulip is the purple tulip, which represents royalty and rebirth. So, 
When it comes to your bouquet of gorgeous tulips or the mixed bouquet of tulips, let these meanings remind you of how special you are to me and to the body of Christ. Lastly, the reason you mean so much to me is that when I look at you, I see you represent the word of life, which is Jesus Christ. It is in your footsteps that I follow. I know that as I follow you, I'm following Jesus. Your support and ongoing dedication are appreciated. Thank you for serving the flock so well. We love you. Happy Founders Day. Be blessed and encouraged. Bye-bye. Hello, Apostle. I wanted to wish you a happy Founders Day. I'm so thankful that God sent me to ELCC to sit under such a great woman of God. All the prayers, all the calls, all the texts, all the hugs, they are greatly appreciated. I can't tell you how much they mean to me. I'm so proud of you and I celebrate you on this day and every day going forward. Happy Founders Day, Apostle. Day, Apostle. Just want to say how much I love and appreciate you and thank you for all the words of wisdom, love, and care that you've shown to me. And love you. Happy Founders Day. Happy Founders Day, Apostle. Love you and I thank you for all of your prayers. Love you more. Happy Founders Day, Apostle. Love you so very, very much. I just thank God for you. Thank God he has you in my life. I thank you for all of your prayers, all of your love, every deposit that you have been posited, deposited into my life. And I thank God for all of your words of wisdom. I just appreciate you so very, very much. On behalf of the Robinson family, we would like to leave you with numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Jeremiah 3 and 15 says, And I will give you pastors according to my own heart, which shall feed you knowledge and understanding. Apostle Green, you are truly a pastor according to God's own heart. You are in sync with God. God has gifted ELCC and the body of Christ a part of himself through you. Thank you for all of your prayers you prayed for my family and I. Thank you for all your wisdom you share in our conversations. Apostle Green, we appreciate, honor, and love you. We love you and we will keep you in our heart. We love, love you. you. Bye. Hi, Apostle. I just want to wish you a blessed and prosperous Founders Day on Sunday. May you feel the love and continue to be encouraged because you are truly a blessed woman of God. This is from Warren, Tyranny, Ashley, and myself. Want you to know that we love you. Enjoy your day. Be blessed now. Hi, hey, Apostle. Apostle. John three sixteen. God so loved the world that He gave us His only beloved Son. That whomsoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, it's my turn. God also loved us. God also loved us so much. So much. And he gives you, Apostle. Hey, Apostle yeah. Green. We are truly blessed to have you as our spiritual mother. And to be a part of the flock that you shepherd. God's word tells us not to just be the hearers of the word, but also doers of the word. That's truly one of your attributes. You are truly living out 1 Peter 5 and 2. You care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watching over it willingly, not grudgingly. Not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. You are a woman of prayer, a seer, a truth teller, whose motives are pure concerning the souls and the hearts of the people. You shepherd beautifully, a real example of a righteous, virtuous woman. 
Apostle, when the Christ shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory, as it says in 1 Peter 5 and 4. It, it is, is our, our pleasure, pleasure to, to honor, honor you for your 19-year founder celebration. We love you, and there is nothing anyone can do about it. All right. Greetings, Apostle, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I thank you for allowing me to celebrate in your appreciation. I glorify God for allowing, for you accepting me into the church of Everlasting Life Christian Church. I thank you for the fellowship and the love that you displayed towards me, um, the welcome that you displayed towards me. I thank you for the love of God that is deeply rooted in you, that you loved me enough with the love of God for the correction, for the rebuke, for the sharp rebuke at that. Um, I thank you for laboring before God for your people to give us the word of God that he shared with you. I can thank you all day, but I wanted you to know that you are appreciated. I appreciate you in my life. You are a gift to me. You are a miracle to me. You are a blessing to me. And I thank God for blessing you. I thank God for another year that he's allowed you to celebrate for being a gift. I glorify God. I thank you. I appreciate you for being in my life. Um, I thank you for everything that you have shared with me. Oh, man, I thank you for wanting so much of God to be deposited into me. I thank you. I thank you for always being there, even when I don't know that you're there. Thank you for your striving, your prayers. I thank you so much. I glorify God for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. That there's a there's no words for all the work that you have put in for all the love that you have put in but i thank you i let you know that you are well appreciated oh god hallelujah may the blessings of the lord make you and your family rich and add no sorrow to it thank you i love you in the love of the lord Happy Founders Day. On behalf of me and my children, we are excited to celebrate your Founders Day with you. We thank you for your wisdom and your guidance and your loving concerns. We are blessed to have you. We love you and we see you soon. Happy Founders Day. Hey, Nana. We, we love, love you. you. L for loyalty for your loyalty to the word of God and your loyalty to Jesus. Oh! Say overjoy. Overjoy and a, and a nana we bug in the church and a nana work in the, in the church. She walks around at the church? Yeah. And prays? And prays. You like that? Yeah. V for vivacious, for being kind-hearted, spirited, and not afraid to speak the truth and e for being an example you are an example to all of us men and women on how to love god with your whole heart mind soul and strength love others and love yourself because you live your best life by living in the truth which is jesus mm -hmm. we love you happy father happy father's, happy father's day, day.